product cooking program today. Today we want to show you guys that, you know what I mean, tell you all, a little bit and tips about Christmas. Christmas is coming up soon. Basically, I want to tell you something guys. Remember, look out for the pot roast beef. We got some lovely string bean at home some call it some people call it five five beans but it's normally back in Jamaica they call it string bean basically what did I have it inside of a container strainer container right here as you can see oh I like I like my string bean them like this we do even with the edge I believe they look really nice like this but I'm gonna show you how you can cook off your string bean and have it really chunky and nice and fantastic guys Basically, first thing we need to do is to wash it. Make sure your string bean wash properly because sometimes when you look at the string bean, there's dirt on it, but you don't see. But as you can see, that's one of the key points where you need to do is to wash your string bean and really properly, nice. But we're gonna show you now one of the best way how to make your string bean at home. Um, is to string bean. I believe you don't need to put butter or Garlic or anything, and I believe it is should just have string bean natural. To me, that's the best way to have veg like these because beans like these is really healthy and good for me. So I wash out my string bean. Now I'm gonna show you how to cook them at home in your kitchen, even this Christmas for our Christmas tips also. So enjoy the recipe, guys. Nice and lovely. So basically, right here, guys, my pot is empty, as you can see right here nothing inside of it but what i'm gonna do i boil some water inside of my kettle and what i'm gonna simply do is pour water in it like this that's some boiling water all right and the amount of boiling water which i'm using inside of my kettle at the moment roughly i would say probably about four to five cups four cups of water but the pack of string bean which I'm using is roughly 200 grams, so roughly a handful of string bean. But you might have said, why are you putting so much water inside of the pack? But guys, basically what I want to simply say to you, when you don't know a thing and you want to learn something new, is best for you. But as you can see exactly what I'm talking about right here, looking lovely and nice. That's the string bean right there. And to be honest guys, and I'm going to show you how you can do your string bean the best ever way looking fresh and nice and lovely but the beauty is the way oh you do it so the reason why i say i use boiling water if you can see right over here the water start to boil already because i'm using boiling water lovely and nice so basically what would i normally do because the water start to boil up i would just get my string bean in and put them straight inside of the pot like this Nice and lovely. So that's the string bean inside of the pot. Make sure the water cover the string bean. Lovely. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna stay right there and I'm gonna watch it. And I'm gonna wait till the water. As soon as the water boiled up, and you see, you can see guys, the string bean then start to change that beautiful beautiful look look at the color as you can see i'm not moving the camera because i want you guys to see exactly what i'm talking about right here um basically you don't need to put salt inside of it you can cook them just as it guys and eat them just like and i don't i want to simply say to you sometimes some people do even eat them same way but as you can see look at that string bean i'm changing color but as you can see all the water boiling up string bean and changing color so as the water you see the water the water boil over the string bean then that's the best time you need to just 
get it rid of it, strain it off. If you want to cool it down, warm it up, or if you want to serve it, warm. Whatever you want to do with it. But as you can see, the string bean is boiling. We're for about a second now since the water starts to boil up like this. Looking lovely and fantastic inside of the pot, guys. Look at that. I love my string bean, and I love my string bean when they're a little bit chunky, not too overcooked. Oh man, I don't like when my string be overcooked. I would be getting really upset. That basically, as you can see, right inside of the pot, the way the string beans are looking lovely. They it, it changed the color, and you know what I mean? It's just fantastic. As you can see, oh man, look at that. The beautiful of the string bean. Mmm. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna pour off the water. And um, after we pour off the water, we're gonna show you what next we're gonna do, guys. Oh, man, look at that. That is beautiful. Really nice, fantastic. The green, the look, the color. You can put butter or if you wanna put some olive oil on it and serve it. But for me, I would just eat them just like that. Natural, no oil, no butter. But as you can see, this is just really nice and fantastic and beautiful. So guys, enjoy the recipe. It's a simple recipe, but effective and good to use at home in the kitchen. String bean, healthy veg for the family. Enjoy the recipe. And this Christmas, you can all put string bean on the table. Also, if you don't like. So guys, enjoy the recipe.